Blog Talk Radio. From the high mountains of the great Southwest Canadian Rockies, I bid you all good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever the case may be, wherever you are in this world, of which is covered by this radio program, welcome to Dark Matter Radio. My name is Ronnie McQueen, and we're going to have a very interesting program already, I can tell. We're going to dive deep into the infinite universe and all its possibilities. So hold on tight, grab a cup of coffee, some tea. Whatever tobacco products you might be smoking, and settle in for a very, very interesting program. Well, 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 hello, 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 everyone. Um, mahalo, Oseo. Uh, we are here tonight, and we're going to be talking about chemtrails being banned around the world. We've got a good one for you. Uh, won't be too long, we'll be here, we'll be here for a radio show, pretty much. Um, hopefully you got a chance to see the other shows that have been, see the other shows that are going on. Uh, we'll get into the bottom of all this DNA stuff, which is really good. We, we talked to Dr. Uh, Fatu, and uh, she was great. Um, also went over a book called Primitive Man, that was interesting. And uh, it's getting a lot of traction, I tell you that. But right now... Uh, chemtrails are, if chemtrails are not real, why are they banning chemtrails all over the world? Uh, poisonous barium is now found in the blood from chemtrail spray, spray paint, spray, spray planes, right? So the planes are spraying this gas all over the place. Uh, will the government justify, uh, to stop the poison, use the UN Agenda 21 climate change control. Well, tonight we will look into the government's banning chemtrails. Uh, the other thing I want to say, just real quick, if you're on YouTube, just press that like button. It helps the uh, algorithm. I notice everybody saying that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, that helps a lot as well. Um, this channel that we're on right now is not monetized, so. Uh, we're probably we've been we've been demonetized for almost the inception since we've been on. So we're going to try to get another program, another channel started, uh, which will probably be a backup channel. We'll see how we do with that one. But we are heard from all around the world right now, uh, from Canada all the way down in the South Amex, uh, South America. Uh, we are heard uh, on the European continent um, and as far down as South Africa and India, all the way into Australia, Australia. Uh, Japan, um, Switzerland, Finland, we, you know, all over the place. We're, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing what we can, uh, to get the word out there. But tonight we're going to be talking about these chemtrails. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's very interesting. So, uh, to, to support the show also, we got the books, uh, by the host of Dark Matter Radio, which is Ronnie McLean, which is myself. Help support the, uh, the channel and the show helps keep us on and, pay the bills and all that other type of stuff. But go to blurb.com uh, and, you know, hit that link right down there in the uh, in the show right there. Uh, if you're on YouTube, all you're just going to have to do is just press it and just go right there. Uh, if you're not on YouTube, just, um, you know, copy, paste it, and put it in your, um, your browser, and it'll take you right over to the book section. And you see the four books that we that I've, that I've written. Um, and it's uh, very, very inspiring. So that's not all I want to say with that. Um, the most important thing right now is that these chemtrails are crazy all over the place. So, um, you know, we got places like New Hampshire, Texas, um, a couple other different places, even uh, California um, I was looking in that was uh, doing something with that as well. So with New Hampshire becomes... It's trying to become the second state to ban chemtrails, right? New Hampshire has become, well, New Hampshire is, is, is on the verge of becoming the second state to potentially outlaw the spraying of 
aerosols, particles, matter into the skies, a phenomenon commonly referred to as chemtrails. Texas has made history last year when the state representative looked into changing the law to ban dangerous atmospheric aerosol spraying without prior approval and testing of the chemtrails being sprayed. Interesting, right? According to Manager House, uh, House Bill, uh, what is it? New Hampshire House Bill 1700, HB 1700. Um, and what it does it establishes a regulatory process to prevent the international, wow, or intentional release of looting emissions in New Hampshire's atmosphere and at the ground level and provides uh, penalties for violations. This bill requires reports of such violations to be made by state officials and members of the public to the Department of Environmental Services Air Resource Division and Compliance and requires New Hampshire's county sheriffs to carry and enforce those provisions. What emissions, right? Um, these emissions, uh, well, is what you see spraying all over your sky every day as they're crisscrossing the sky, right? Uh, the general court finds that many atmospheric activities such as weather modification, Stratosphere aerosol injections, SAI, solar radiation modification, SRM, and other forms of ge geoengineering involve the intentional release, polluting emissions, harm human health, and safety, environmental, environment, agriculture, wildlife, aviation, state security, and the economy of the state of New Hampshire. Without using the word chemtrails, which can trigger people, the bill does address a genuine set of circumstances from public figures and leading universities. There is chatter about the aerosol, the atmosphere with material to block the sun. We have less information about what that means than we did about COVID vaccines. And we can assume it neither safe nor effective, absent the knowledge of understanding, knowing that the agents or agencies likely to suggest or attempt such things will, be, will, will lie about it, that our elites have the best and declining opinion of human life and, at worst, a commitment to end it in their depopulation quest. This is not a ridiculous um, piece of legislation. He goes on to say, once the sponsors, one of the sponsor is a friend, so I'd like to expect them to offer some follow-up. But if I'm honest, I don't know how far this bill will likely go. I hope we get somewhere some uh, vigorous debate in in the comments. But currently makes up the state's House and Senate do not suggest to me success with the understanding that you are guaranteed to miss 100% of the shots uh, you'll ever take, right? Uh, there are fractions who mean to spread things in the air above us. There are fractions who mean to spread things in the air above us. They are not shy about it. And if we lack any sense of transparency, limit, or regulation, we might find ourselves subject to man cause atmospheric effects without knowledge of recourse. So there are people who are awake over there in uh, New Hampshire um, who just had the, um, the election over there. Uh, the primary. Uh, interesting. So there are people that are awake and are trying to do something, bring awareness to that, and they brought it up to their legislatures. Well, Texas becomes the first state to potentially outlaw chemtrails as well. So we're having a whole entire thing going on over there in Texas. Well, you know, the Supreme Court had ruled that Texas illegally, right now, 
um, has put up barriers to prevent um, illegals to come into their country. And they gave them, I think it was 72 hours or stuff like that, uh, to take it down. But the, the, uh, the United States Supreme Court said this takes effect immediately. The Homeland Security is giving them a few days to take it down. We'll see exactly what's going to go over there. We're going to be following that. But Texas is set to become the first state to potentially outlaw spraying of aerosols, uh, particulates, matter into the skies. They phenomenon commonly referred to as chemtrails. In a new petition, uh, the group Clean Skies Texas is collecting signatures to ask the state representative to pass laws banning dangerous aspects Af- <laughs> atmospheric aerosols spraying without prior approval and testing of the chemtrails being sprayed. Uh, it, it's it's very important that we understand that if these people, I mean, they're, they're really, you know, they're bringing this up. You know, they're bringing this up that these crisscrossing patterns and lines in the sky that seem to be going everywhere for miles and miles and miles um, is, is is a serious thing. And besides creating atmospheric pollution in the form of hazy skies and blocking out the sun, clean skies goes on to note testing all rainfall, groundwater, and soil indicates that some of the substances and particulates being sprayed are oxides of aluminum, barium, strontium. The greatly elevated exposure to human and living things to aluminum oxide and other toxic metals compounds as well as other aerosol substances and particles is causing respiratory problems and other negative health conditions, the petition states. Humans, pets, Wildlife are harmed. Farm crops, soils damaged. Forests are suffering and many places dying. And water is polluted, regardless of the justification use of this continuous ongoing spraying. It is extremely harmful to our health and our environment. Queen Skies refers to individuals to to geoengineering.org to view their extensive research on the topic and additionally provide evidence showing the federal government has procured numerous weather modification patents, which they have, as well as produce research papers on weather and climate modification dating back to the 60s. We dealt with that earlier on uh, a few years ago uh, with the whole entire show uh, on this channel called Chemtrail. Geoengineering.org. Go there and you can get all that information. The petition comes as a top geologist publishes a paper in, in the Advance in Social Science Research Journal last September accusing the United Nations of engaging in a conspiracy to destroy Earth's environment. That is serious. <laughs> in engaging in engaging in a conspiracy to destroy the Earth's environment, that is one heck of a um assertion right there. So it says join the fight and become a citizen um against geoengineering today. In their paper, James Marvin Her- um Herndon and Mark Whiteside warned humanity's time is short to permanently end all geoengineering activities, specifically aerosolized coal fly ash, they say are sprayed out of jets and into the atmosphere where it's systematically breaking down Earth's support system and poisoning of life. The federal government has tactically admitted the particle goes on the form of stratospheric aerosols injection, SAI. Again, we talked about that with New Hampshire, which former CIA director John Berman noted is a method of seeding the atmosphere with particles that can reflect the sun, heat, the sun's heat in much the same way volcanic eruptions do. This is dangerous. An SAI program could limit global temperature increase reduction, some risk 
associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transform from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive, Berman says, and during the Council on Foreign Relations Conference, a request for comment uh, from Screen Kai's Texas was not immediately returned. It's interesting that they got all this stuff going on, you know, and, you know, if anybody's really been following the carbon-7, carbon-12 type situation, you know that that's really the major thing that's been going on with all of these different types of um, radiation particles coming from deep space, warming up the whole entire uh, solar system, including our planet. They are, they, they, they have a lot of um, solar radiation that are coming in stronger than any other radiation that, that, that they've ever recorded in human history um, coming onto the planet right now. And this is probably one of the major reasons why they are doing a lot of geoengineering because they're trying to prevent, slow down whatever is naturally occurring in the universal consciousness. You know, we also have... Um, um, Mexico, I mean, and again, if, if they just stop doing this stuff, I mean, perhaps maybe everything would begin to start working out itself. But they're destroying the oceans. The oceans are now natural cooling uh, system. Uh, they, they, they're, they're doing everything that they can to, um, to, to disrupt uh, all of the uh, plant life by cutting down all of the, um, all of the, all of the, all the forest. Right, I mean, you take a look at Brazil and how many, how many um, hectares of land are being cut down a day. I mean, all of this stuff here is 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 natural in order for the planet to be able to adjust itself on its twelve to twelve and twenty four thousand year cycles. Which, when it comes back again to the next twenty four thousand years, which is we're at that now, we're at the height of everything that's going on naturally. And if they didn't mess around with the environment to begin with. We would have the oceans and all of the vegetation, all of the trees on this planet right now uh, to help um, combat a lot of the things that are going on now. Uh, instead of all the spring, even Mexico plans to ban solar geo, uh, um, geo engineering after rogue experiment. The U.S. set up to carry out a geoengineering exper experiment in Mexico. Now, they have treaties with all these things, right? Remember, they got treaties with this stuff. And the treaties say that you can do geoengineering on your own provinces. Uh, you can do your own geoengineering. Like, you know, you could do it in Canada, but you can't do it in the United States. The United States can do it on themselves, but they're not supposed to be doing it in Canada or Mexico. So, you know, what is the United States doing, um, doing geoengineering experiments in Mexico? which the country claims was done without their prior notice or consent. Mexico announced uh, uh, in January a set of measures to ban solar geo geoengineering experience, uh, experiments in the country after the U.S. startup, after a U.S. startup. So some com company uh, that they're not naming right now uh, began releasing sulfur particles into the atmosphere in the northern state of Baja. Baja, California. The Mexican government said it will develop a strategy to ban future experiments with solar geoengineering, which will also include information campaign and scientific reports. However, the government did not announce more specific actions. Mexico retaliates or re, re, um, reiterates its unavoidable, unavoidable commitment to the protection and the well-being of the population from particles that generate risk to human and environmental security, said the government in a statement. I, I, I wish the United States, even Canada, um, as well as Britain and a lot of these other countries would take the same tack. Mec uh, geoengineering refers to the act of deliberately changing Earth's systems to control its climate. Now, does that sound safe? One theoretical proposal has been to space sulfur particles to cool the planet, which has been documented to briefly happen after volcanic eruptions. A recent United Nations report, remember in the other report, they, they, they put in the bill, 
um, the claim that the United Nations is in the United Nations is in a conspiracy with other nations to do, to purposely destroy the Earth's atmosphere, the Earth's ecosystem, ecosystem. Allegedly, that's what they're saying. Found that these particles, known as stratospheric aerosol injection, SIA, has the potential to reduce global uh, means temperature. But if, but if found, it cannot fully offset widespread effects of global warming and produces unintended consequences, including effects on ozone. So the ozone lane is being ripped, ripped apart still, right? We've been having that problem since the 70s. Um, and again, a lot of these things are coming. A lot of this radio or these, 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 these particles are coming from deep space that are not only warming up Earth, but is warming up the whole entire solar system. There's nothing that can be done. We have to, we have to, we have to survive through this. But again, you know, the carbon seven, carbon twelve type terrorist emission uh, um, uh, situation is real. The UN Convention on Biological Diversity established a moratorium on geoengineering in 2010, in the absence of enough scientific data and regulation. Rogue experiment. In 2022, the United States startup making Sunset launch, launched an unauthorized experiment from two sites in the northern Mexican state of Baja, California. The company claims it launched balloons injecting sulfur dioxide particles into the atmosphere, which were not monitored or uh, recovered. The company's co-founder, Luke uh, Eisman, said he conducted the experiments in Baja, California, because he saved lives there. The Mexican government said the experiments was carried out without prior notice, without consent of the government of Mexico and surrounding communities. Mexican Sunset is making, oh, making Sunset is already selling cooling credits for future balloon flights with larger amounts of sulfur dioxide for ten dollars each. So it seems as though this uh, sunset company is selling balloons. So if it's too hot in your area, you can pay them ten dollars for each balloon. They'll send these balloons up, pop them up high in the stratosphere or uh, somewhere up there, and it will cool your area out uh, uh, that you're around uh, for you know maybe maybe a day or so. Uh, that's that's what it's sounding like. Lily Fuller, Deputy Program Director of the Center for International Environmental uh, Law, CIEL, said in a statement that the offering of cheap and easy quick fix to the climate crisis that companies pay into the hands of the fossil fuel industry. Solo, geo, uh, solo geoengineering is too risky and ungovernable to pursue. We support the Mexican government in their plan for ban and call on an immediate stop to the new flights that Make Sunset has announced for January 2023. Oh, why don't they stop it, uh, Fur said. And, you know, then they come out and they said they got some side effects going on. James Hollywood is a professor of atmospheric science and Excelsior or X. Ex exterior University and co-wrote a UN uh, report on SAI. He told Climate um, Home, he told Climate Home uh, that make sunset experiment was not dangerous as the amount of sulfur was so small. It is more of a public relations stunt, he said, adding it is not going to make a blind bit of difference. But putting larger amounts of sulfur in the atmosphere can be dangerous, he said. While many of the side effects of SIA can be avoided, it is done properly, said, if it's done properly, said, very difficult uh, to avoid. I, I, I mean, it seems like they're taking really, this is going too far. I mean, really too far. For example, he said, putting large amounts of sulfur into the atmosphere is likely to increase winter rainfall, 
over Northern Europe and reduce it over Southern Europe, particularly Spain and Portugal. Speaking before the Mexican um, statement, Haywood said that the amount there is no government, no governance, right? Uh, the, oh, at the moment, there is no government, no governance of geoengineering and that it wasn't aware of any government proposal regulation. So the agency called on more government to announce bans uh, f um, of these particles. And, uh, I mean, it is insane because they're saying that what's in the uh, poisonous barium is now found in the blood from chem chemtrails, spray planes. Will the government justify and stop these poisonous use of UN Agenda 21 climate control measures? This is uh, this is published list of claimed uh, poisons which are true, would which if true would appear to be more related to population control than climate control. So what they're claiming is in this stuff is aluminum oxide particles, arsenic, psyllium, and molds, bromium, trisolates, cadmium, cal calcium. Um, Chlorium, desicylate, human red blood cells, yuck. Ethylene de, 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 bro, de bromide in ether bacterial, bacteria, yep. Coli, um, another word I can't, it, it, enterobacterial something. Human white blood cells, why would they put that stuff in there? Lead, lithium salt, mercury, methyl aluminum, mold spores, microplasma, nano aluminum coated fiberglass. That is crazy. Nitrogen to fluoride, nickel, polymer fibers, prosodium something, agro something. Nitrogen fluoride, triside, right? Um, fluorescence, radioactive celsium, selenium, radioactive thorium, selenium, oh my god, sharp titanium, shards, silver, uh, strontium, and a whole bunch of sulfur dioxide, unidentified bacteria, uranium, yellow fungal monox monoxin toxins. <coughs> That's like that's going to kill everybody. But anyway, it is very interesting that we got this stuff going on. And if geoengineering really wasn't real, which it is, um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy that, you know, governments now are beginning to start trying to take action, right? Things are, things are starting to notice. But a lot of it, you know, again, people can't really do anything about uh, the warming of the planet. It's a natural phenomenon that's coming, um, that's being directed in our area from deep out in quote-unquote space. Um, there's absolutely nothing anybody can do about it. But what we can do is make sure that we don't cut down all the forest. Um, we don't pollute the oceans the way that we're polluting them. And making sure that uh, the, the natural systems that we have in place that's been around for hundreds of millions of years stay intact. So then that way, we can avoid a mass extinction event. So there you have it. I mean, you got these planes flying left, right, and center all over, the, all over these continents and stuff like that and blocking up the sun, which is, as they say, is not really a, um, a reasonable thing to do. It's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous for these things to be like that. So... What you know? Call up your congressman. 